the World Health Organization recently sent its top officials to Port Sudan. This visit was led by Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, the Director General, and Dr. Ahmed Almandari, the Regional Director. Their mission to highlight the catastrophic health crisis gripping Sudan. The country is in desperate need and the world cannot afford to look away any longer. During their visit, WHEU officials met with Sudanese leaders. They discussed the severe impacts of the ongoing conflict which has ravaged the health system. The situation is dire. We need unhindered humanitarian access to reach those in need, Dr. Tedros stressed. The message was clear. The international community must act now. The visit was also symbolic. It marked the inauguration of a new Horo office in Port Sudan. This facility aims to bolster WHO's response to the crisis. The organization is committed to staying engaged and providing necessary support to the Sudanese people. The WO's presence in Sudan is a lifeline, but the scale of the crisis demands more than just symbolic gestures. It requires a coordinated global response to ensure that aid reaches those who need it most. The world must rally behind Sudan now more than ever. Sudan is in the throes of a humanitarian catastrophe. Over 11 million people are in urgent need of assistance. They lack basic necessities like food, water, shelter, and medical care. The ongoing conflict has disrupted supply chains, making it nearly impossible for aid organizations to operate effectively. The WHO has called for immediate and increased humanitarian aid. The international community must step up, Dr. Ahmed Almandari urged. Delays in aid could lead to even more suffering particularly for vulnerable groups like children and the elderly. The world cannot afford to be complacent. The situation on the ground is grim. Many displaced families are living in makeshift shelters with no access to clean water or sanitation. This environment is a breeding ground for diseases. The WHO is working tirelessly with its partners to deliver essential health services. But the need is overwhelming and time is running out. The international community must respond with urgency. Funding and resources are critical. Without them, the humanitarian crisis will only worsen. The people of Sudan deserve better, and it is our moral duty to help them. The conflict in Sudan has left the health system in ruins. Hospitals and clinics have been destroyed or severely damaged. Medical supplies are scarce. Many health workers have fled, fearing for their lives. This has left a massive gap in the healthcare system. The lack of access to health care has led to a surge in preventable diseases. Clean water and sanitation facilities are hard to come by, exacerbating the situation. Malnutrition rates are skyrocketing, especially among children. The risk of infectious disease outbreaks looms large. The WHO is doing its best to support the remaining health facilities. It has provided essential medical supplies and is working to ensure that health services continue. But the security situation makes it incredibly challenging. Health workers face constant threats, and many areas are simply too dangerous to reach. A ceasefire is crucial. It would allow for the safe delivery of humanitarian aid and pave the way for the restoration of health services. The international community must push for a sustained ceasefire. The lives of millions depend on it. Section 4, UN Report, War Crimes and Call for Peacekeepers. A recent UN report has shed light on the atrocities occurring in Sudan. The report, compiled by a fact-finding mission, details harrowing accounts of war crimes. Both the Sudanese Armed Forces and the Paramilitary Rapid Support Forces are implicated in these horrific abuses. The report includes testimonies of torture, mutilation, and killings. The gravity of these crimes cannot be overstated, the report states. The findings underscore the urgent need for an international peacekeeping force to protect civilians. Without such intervention, the cycle of violence is likely to continue. The report calls for accountability. Those responsible for these heinous crimes must be brought to justice. We cannot stand idly by while such atrocities are committed, the UN mission emphasized. The international community has a moral obligation to act. Deploying peacekeepers is a crucial step. It would help deter further atrocities and provide much needed protection for civilians. The world must heed this call and take decisive action to end the suffering in Sudan. Section 5. The Need for International Intervention International intervention is not just necessary, it's imperative. Diplomatic pressure is needed to bring the warring parties to the negotiating table. 
A ceasefire is essential to allow for the safe delivery of humanitarian aid and to create space for peace talks. Targeted sanctions should be considered against those fueling the conflict. The international community must send a strong message, Dr. Tedros urged. Sanctions could help weaken the warring parties and push them towards a peaceful resolution. Support for neighboring countries is also crucial. They are bearing the brunt of the refugee crisis, providing shelter to those fleeing the violence. International aid must flow to these countries to help them cope with the influx of refugees. The crisis in Sudan is a global issue. It demands a coordinated and multifaceted response. Failure to act will have dire consequences, not just for Sudan, but for regional stability as well. The international community must prioritize Sudan and work towards a sustainable peace. Section 6, Call to Action Mobilizing International Support. The situation in Sudan is a humanitarian disaster that demands immediate attention. The international community must mobilize resources and provide the necessary support. This is not just about aid, it's about saving lives and restoring hope. Governments, NGOs, and individuals all have a role to play. Donations are needed to fund humanitarian efforts. Political leaders must advocate for a ceasefire and push for peace talks. Every effort counts and collective action can make a difference. The world must not turn a blind eye to Sudan, Dr. Tedros implored. The urgency of the situation cannot be overstated. Now is the time for action. The lives of millions hang in the balance, and the world must respond with compassion and resolve. The call to action is clear. We must rally together to support the people of Sudan. The international community has the power to alleviate suffering and pave the way for a brighter future. Let us not squander this opportunity. Act now and make a difference.